what's going on you guys and welcome back to another video and in this video I'll be talking about how the covert narcissist cannot respect boundaries once a narcissist has realized that they've lost control and they are completely out of touch with the person or situation they will find another way to be back on top of their game now Remember, it's all a game to a narcissist, especially a covert narcissist. So it should never be taken personal because a narcissist doesn't love you, let alone care about you enough to respect your mind. A narcissist, they're self-centered, egotistical, sociopaths, and psychopaths. So the last thing that they're thinking about is the feeling of, of others. They don't care about anyone else's feelings only their own uh, they live in an imaginary world of narcissists and they are true believers that they can have total control of persons and situations and they will not give up to prove themselves otherwise so here's an example of a covert narcissist co-worker and the situation with them dealing with the narcissist who they have cut all communication off with unless they're dealing with them at work. But of course the narcissist, they refuse to accept these boundaries. So, the narcissist victim, they've been doing a pretty good job at playing a great rock and they've got it down to science. Everything's been going good. They've been very peaceful with themselves. And, um... The narcissist, they, they just refuse to accept this non-communication thing. So, now the narcissist will attempt to show some fake concern. And they'll notice that the victim have a pretty heavy workload. And it might be like that for a while. So, they'll pretend that they want to give them a hand knowing that the victim doesn't want to have any dealings with them. So the narcissist will take this fake concern to the supervisor and they'll lie to the supervisor just to get close to the victim. They'll tell the supervisor that the victim seems to be having a hard time and they need a little help and they don't mind offering a little help in hand, which is the furthest thing from the truth. But the supervisor is so taken back by the fake concern that they're not even realizing that the narcissist has lied in order to manipulate and revive a dead situation. It's all a game. And of course, when people are on the outside looking in again, and I'll say this for the thousandth time, it's hard to prove to people that you're dealing with a narcissist. If you're a victim of a narc, it's hard to prove to someone. They'll just have to figure it out on their own. And that's if it'll ever happen. But as far as I'm concerned, for the victim's sake, they just have to do the best they can to deal with this situation until they know that they don't have to deal with it anymore. But when you're dealing with someone in the workplace who's a narcissist, you know, you, every day you just really don't know what you're going to be facing. So now the supervisor has given the narcissist permission to self-appoint themselves to a position that they know the victim doesn't want or need them in. And this is how quickly the narcissist will break down the walls of boundaries in order to manipulate and gain control of a situation that they're no longer wanted in. The covert narcissist is a type of stalker who refuses to be ignored especially once they run out of the victim's supply. They also have like zero respect for boundaries and they'll do anything they can across the lines of communication in order to establish a relationship with someone who doesn't want to deal with them anymore. This is what the cobalt narcissist does. This is what the cobalt narcissist do in the workplace. And so it's just going to be like an ongoing situation. Again, any victim of a narcissist who's dealing with them in the workplace, they just have to do the best thing they know how to maintain 
you know, a good work environment, especially for themselves to keep themselves at peace while dealing with this, this psychopath at work. But I'll have more on a covert narcissist coming soon. So anyway, if you all enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.